going on everyone? My name is Adam Adler with PragmaticWays.com coming at you today with another Eclipse debugging tutorial video here. So this video is going to be a short and sweet one today and we're going to be going over the run to line feature inside of Eclipse. Now this feature here is really great when we want to skip over like a for loop for instance. So let's say I'm in the middle of debugging. I'm inside this get average method here and let's say I need to just verify like something in the middle of this for loop for instance and let's say this array as I iterate through this array let's say this array was like just very large okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and make it a very large array here okay something silly like that all right so let's say I'm very deep in this array and I'm like somewhere in the middle here and I realize I don't need to continue on debugging this for loop here. I don't need to continue on debugging what happens inside this very large array. Well, because it's very large, I wouldn't want to continuously keep on, you know, stepping over or stepping into for every different element. I would want a quick and easy way to sort of now step out of this for loop, but continue on with this execution inside this method. Because if I'm inside here and I use this step return method, well, that would return this entire method here, and I would get popped back up to this line here where this method was uh, actually called from. Instead, I want to just sort of step over this for loop now, and unfortunately, this step over button doesn't apply to for loops. It only really applies to methods when you want to step over a different method call. So one quick way we could do that if, again, we're inside of this for loop and we want to immediately step over this for loop, we could just click after where our for loop is and then click that run to line feature, like I said. So let's kind of see what that looks like in action here. I have a breakpoint on line 21 right at the start of the get average method. And I'm going to enter in my debug mode. And then let's say I'm here and I want to step into this for loop a couple times and sort of just see what's actually happening. And then I realize, okay, it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. I'm keeping an eye over at my variables watch window here. And Okay, now I realize this is doing what it wants to do, but I don't want to continue on with the rest of the elements in here because it's a fairly large array. But let's say it's like a thousand elements long or something. Well, I just want to step over it. And as I've mentioned, the step over button doesn't actually work in for for loops. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on line 27 and then go up to run. And I'm going to click on the run to line option here. And then that's going to immediately, uh, you know, run the rest of this for loop and then run to my next line of interest, uh, my next line of execution I want to execute here, which I said was going to be line 27. So that's what I wanted to get into for this video here. Like I said, short and sweet one, just wanted to introduce the run to line method. So if you liked this video, please consider hitting that like button. Please consider subscribing so you can get notified when I come out with new content on programming. Uh, speaking of content for programming, have you checked out my blog at www.pragmaticways.com where I have lots of great information on design patterns and learning different data structures and algorithms and other cool things in Java or what have you. So head over there. A link to that will be in the description below. And until next time, everyone, happy coding.